Hi folks, like many of you, I'm a huge fan of DJI's Mini 2 drone. I think this is the perfect drone for many people. The fact that it is sub 250 grams and yet DJI have still managed to cram in as much technology as they have into this little thing, meaning that it still has many of the same features as its larger brothers. And because of that, as I say, I think it is the perfect device, especially for those that are just starting to get into the drone hobby. Now, for these lightweight type consumer drones, I would expect that DJI are going to remain the market leaders for some time. However, a few other manufacturers have been stepping into the ring lately in order to compete with this device. And a recent announcement by Hubson may just be raising a few eyebrows over at DJI. Let's get into it. So we're going to watch the video now. This is the announcement for the Xeno Mini Pro, Hubson's follow-up to their Xeno Mini that was released in 2018. And... I'm not going to say anything else about it until afterwards. Let's just watch this video. Very nice. Active tracking. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm on the Drone DJ website. They've summarized some of those features for us. Now, the first thing that comes to mind for me, and I know to many others as well, I've been reading some comments. This is a lot, okay? Seriously, they are promising a lot here for a sub 250 gram drone. And the first question is, are they really going to be able to deliver on all of these features? Now, what we just saw, Drone DJI does point this out, it's important to note, is not the product itself, it's a mock-up of the product, okay? They haven't actually created this yet. So we've got a much larger image sensor than is present on the DJI with a 1 over 1.3 inch. 48 megapixels, again, that's a lot of megapixels in that camera. And there's some of the other camera specs as well. A large aperture. Six times zoom, HDR mode, not present on the DJI Mini 2, 4K 30 frames per second. So that's a little bit more realistic at least, isn't it? That's what we have with the Mini 2 as well. The Syncles 3.0, that is their imaging transmission technology, i.e. getting the picture from the drone to your phone that's connected to the remote controller. And 1080p, you know, that's a boost over the Mini 2, which provides image transmission at 720p max. 10 kilometer range. I believe that's the same as OcuSync 3.0. So again, they are trying to say that this is greater than what's available with the current Mini 2. Uh, there's their wireless bandwidth and max flight time of 40 minutes. Again, it's like they've targeted everything that DJI have marketed with the Mini 2 and then tried to increase it further. So 40 minute flight time. That's pretty impressive when you consider how much tech is apparently being bundled into this little drone here. And, you know, you need to keep that battery at a relatively low mass so that the overall device doesn't exceed 249 grams. And then finally, some exciting stuff, front, backwards and downwards obstacle avoidance sensors. So the Mini 2 has downward obstacle avoidance, which is very helpful for landing since it is a GPS based drone. But that's all it has, okay? No other obstacle avoidance. Now, it doesn't really need it because it has no active tracking. However, this particular drone, the Xeno Mini Pro, is apparently going to have active tracking. So those extra additional sensors would be very, very useful. And it's not something we've really seen with these sub 250 gram drones. This is normally a feature that's reserved for the more weightier models. This is something that's clearly going to be very exciting for people and potentially is going to be a game breaker for many when considering which sub 250 gram drone they want to buy. Would they still want to purchase something like the Mini 2 that doesn't have the active tracking, which is a heck of a lot of fun, by the way. I've been having a blast with it with the Air 2S recently. Would they still want to purchase a drone such as this if they could get a very similar drone that's going to include that feature? Well, I suppose it depends on a number of factors, including price and just brand trust, really. 
because at the end of the day, uh, Hubson here, I keep forgetting their name, but Hubson are still new into the market with this type of device, whereas DJI have now had quite a bit of practice with it. But again, right now, this is just a paper announcement. No pricing has been revealed, no release dates. I do hope we hear something more from Hubson about this device in the near future. So just because this has been announced doesn't mean it's what we're going to get. Now, I would love for Hubson to be able to release this drone with these specs and, to be, and for that drone to be well received, that it actually works, that people like it. So we can get some proper competition going in the sub 250 grand market. I think that's going to be healthy for us as consumers. And quite frankly, the drone itself sounds very exciting. Having obstacle avoidance and active tracking on such a small device would be a very fun thing indeed. But as always, folks, very interested in hearing what you think of this announcement. Do you believe that Hubson are going to be able to deliver on the promises they've revealed here in their specifications for the Xeno Mini Pro? Or do you think it's looking a little bit unrealistic for a company that is known for their toy drones, but doesn't have anywhere near the experience that DJI have in the consumer drone market? And also... Pure speculation, I know, but how do you think these specs confirm to a potential DJI Mini 3 announcement? If this was announced as a DJI Mini 3, would you be excited? Would you think it had more than you expected, less than you expected, or about what you would expect from the next generation of DJI sub 250 gram quad? Please do share your thoughts as always down in the comments below. I appreciate you sharing your time today, and until next time, happy flying. Goodbye, folks.